Well, happy hatch day, guys. We had three eggs pipped this morning before we went to church. And then when we got back, of course, two had hatched already. So hopefully I'll be able to get video of the other two that are in there. Um, as for now, though, only three, um, three actually pipped and two hatched. And I'll show you what they look like. They're super cute. Pipping is when the chick makes the first break in the shell so that it can breathe the outside oxygen. So it just looks like a little bump crack that's been hit from the inside. Um, once they have pipped, then they will uh, do what's called zip. They peck around in a circle to be able to pop the end of the egg off and come out. Now, it can take up to 24 hours from the pip before they actually zip and hatch. So here are the two little chicks. My camera wants to focus on the fuzz on the screen, not the actual chicks, so they're a little out of focus, but you can see them. We have a black one and what looks to be, it's going to be yellow. So it's either a sex link male, which the males of a sex link are, uh, they'll end up being like a yellow chick, um, or it is something else. I'm not really sure what it would be. Um, but again, remember these are mixed breed chickens that are just from our flock of chickens. So it'll be kind of neat to see what their, their mix actually is. Right, focus a little bit better on the little one. The yellow one was the first one to hatch, followed by the black. Can tell by the the way their fluff looks and then let's see if I can get these we still have two more I should have cleaned my plastic before I locked down but we've got two more eggs in there now we won't open the incubator because we don't want the humidity to come out the humidity is very important for when the chicks are hatching. If they don't have enough humidity, they can actually get stuck in their egg because the egg dries up around them, and that's called shrink wrapping. So um, we keep the lid shut until these next two eggs hatch. Hopefully we'll be able to watch it and show that with you. It's a girl. No, no, no. I can't really. It's blocks. So it's a girl. Yeah. Well, we don't know, but it's we got another little one. There's another one about to hatch. All right. Want me to get that eggshell out? Nope. This we've got this egg down here below me. Oh, this is my focus. Um, this egg down here is pipped. And this little black one over here just hatched. And we realized our eggs came from our Amberlink chickens. So I'm hoping that this white one is male and the other two black ones are female. Because like I said, we were going to hopefully get a rooster out of this batch because our rooster is getting old. But the really cool thing is he's a cochin and he's got feathered legs. Well, all these babies have feathered legs too, so that's really cool. So we have one left to hatch, and once it hatches, or hopefully we can catch it hatching, uh, we'll record that for you the as well. The last chick hatched last night in the middle of the night, um, sometime after 11.30, but before 4.30. So let's go ahead and open up the incubator and see what they look like. All right, here's the babies. We got one over here. It has something stuck on his leg, so we'll get it cleaned up. But I love how they all have little feathery feet like their coaching dad does. So what we're going to do is take these out and put them under one of our broody hens who thinks she's going to incubate eggs. And we'll surprise her. She'll wake up in the morning and she'll have babies. 
And if uh, everything goes well, she will deliver, or not deliver, she will take care of them and raise them as if they're her own babies. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe.